Welcome to the 2015 Farms.com Risk Management uh, U.S. Corn Belt Crop Tour. My name is Mo Agostino, Chief Commodity Strategist. Welcome. Thank you to our sponsors, Tasco Dome, Pride Seeds, Southwest Ag Partners, and Penta Tillage. It's day one of the uh, state of Ohio on our crop tour, sunny state of Ohio. We're not experiencing any severe weather today, but it has been over the last five to seven days. Um, now, before we get into crop conditions on what we're seeing, just give you a quick update. The latest USDA crop progress report showed that uh, in Ohio, uh, very poor to poor soys jumped 2%, uh, sorry, uh, jumped from 6 to 11% in this past week as of June 22nd. Uh, good to excellent, 69 to 55% corn. 2 to 7, very poor to poor. Corn good to excellent drop from 80 to 61. And soft red winter wheat, very poor to poor, 6 to 8. And good to excellent, a drop from 68 to 64. You can see in the background here, uh, some of that yellow corn as you, you pan further down there. Um, we're not, if we compare this to 2014, we're not seeing what we saw last year. Uh, for every two fields that were bad last year, where there were eight to nine that were trumping those two bad fields, I think it's reversed this year because of too much moisture. You're seeing more bad than good. It's early, we'll keep you posted. We are now standing in front of a soybean field in the state of Ohio. We're um, six miles south of Attica in uh, Crawford County and uh, this looks like an average uh, bunch of uh, beans here you know we've had a pretty wet month of May a, a record uh, going back 121 years so uh, uh, we've had a lot of moisture here in the last week or so finally getting some heat but you know the beans have uh, got those wet feet and it looks like in some cases you know, farmers have had a tough time spraying as well and trying to control some weeds, but uh, so looking average, not as good as we saw uh, last year uh, in our start of our tour in 2014. We're now in front of a wheat field. We're traveling east on uh, Highway 62. We're actually on a side road called Denny Road near Willington, Ohio. And it's a really nice wheat field. Uh, we've seen some wheat fields already being harvested here. Uh, it's mature. It looks like we could harvest if we could only get some dry weather. Uh, we, got a lot, uh, we started the day with some uh, sun, but uh, the storms rolled in again and uh, there's flash flooding in this area, some severe weather, and of course, we also got a river flowing in front of this uh, wheat field. So, um, this persistent rain continues in the state of Ohio. We're now in front of a bean field, uh, again, near Denny's Road, East 62, near Willington, Ohio, and uh, better looking beads. As we travel further south, we get to um, some bigger plants, but uh, again, uh, beans with wet feet. Uh, we got beans in standing water looking better, but this rain's gonna have to stop and we need some uh, dry conditions and some heat to uh, help improve these uh, plants. We're now standing in front of a cornfield. We're south of uh, Highway 125, traveling east towards uh, the city of Cincinnati in Ohio. It, it, we're going to end our tour day one, June 26th, in the state of Ohio. And uh, this is a good looking cornfield. Uh, probably 10, 15% of the crops in Ohio look like this. Um, I even got my own feet wet. It's been pretty wet, uh, rainy today. We started off sunny. We got some thunderstorms in the background again. Uh, but uh, to conclude, the uh, state of Ohio ranks 10th in corn production, 7th in soybean production. So it's not that important of a state. But if the rest of the states look like Ohio, there's no record production coming down the pipe. Uh, we're not going to get record yields. In fact, we're going to start to shave yields going forward. So um, uh, at this stage, um, I'm not liking what I see. Uh, I see more uh, fields that are not looking so hot versus 
the odd decent field. If we compare it to last year's record crop when I was traveling through Ohio and we're in the southern part of Ohio where they've been getting a lot of moisture uh, the corn crop was much taller, was much earlier than last year. Um, so at this stage, uh, we'll see what happens. But um, um, looking for lower, I mean, there's still a big growing season ahead of us. It's only June 26th and we still got to get through the pollination stage. But uh, um, uh, looking for lower production from Ohio.